Trading camels is big business in the northwestern Indian state of Rajasthan, especially here at the annual camel fair in Pushkar. There are many fairs, but nothing like this one. At the Pushkar festival, traders can make up to 50,000 rupees. For years, camel traders have set up camps here in early winter to coincide with special Hindu prayers, which revolve around the full moon. The result is one of the largest camel fairs in Asia. <laughs> Narayan Singh has traveled two days by camel from his small village in the Thar Desert to the fairgrounds in hopes of increasing his herd by four camels and selling two of his older ones. This is our interest, our passion. Whatever we instruct, the camel follows our directions. There's only one way to operate a car, but there are many ways to handle the camel. A camel walks the way you tell it to walk, and it listens to orders. That's why I like them. Camel trading is a Singh family tradition that runs three generations. His father passed on this work to him as a youngster, and his 19-year-old nephew has also joined the trade. Every year, five or six of us from our family come here. We've been coming here for 15 or 20 years. We dip in the holy water, pray here, and then we buy and sell camels. But Singh's passion for camel trading is becoming more rare in the next generation, and the centuries-old way of life is slowly disappearing. Population growth and land development is encroaching on open spaces once used for camel grazing. An uncertain future is prompting traders' children to look elsewhere for employment. There were no houses on this land before 30 years ago. Now there are lots of buildings and houses, factories, lots of construction on the land. That's why the trading work is stopping. But the camel still has many practical uses. Besides producing milk, it also aids in farm work and cultivating the land. Plus, traders like Singh have long relied on camels for transportation. <laughs> On that sand dune, no car, bus, jeep or truck can travel. This camel can go even with a trailer. The camel can carry a lot of weight. That's why it's worth a lot. Choosing the most beautiful camels is another time-honored tradition for traders. The tail should be small, since a small tail looks good, not a long tail. The neck should be long. Round eyes are beautiful. The ears are pointed and small, so it looks good. Since it has a small face, it needs to have small ears. The latest addition to Singh's herd, an eight-month-old camel, is his most prized possession for now. I bought this camel for 20,000 rupees, and I can sell it for 30,000. When the camel's price becomes 30 to 35,000 rupees, I'll come back to Pushkar to sell it. While the fair is known for its brisk camel trade, the festival also attracts horse traders from all over India. Horses can fetch up to 40 times the price of camels. Here, horses are sold for weddings, so we get a lot for these horses. We make 100 to 200 dollars on horses here. My father did this work for 60 years, so we're really into it. We don't even know how to do any other work. However, it's not a life they want for their children, so they're educating their kids. We want the kids to get into some other line of work. That will be better for them. We want to end this kind of work. Singh says his own children are educated and have taken up other jobs, so this work won't continue another generation in his family. But after profiting about $500 in a week, camel fares like this are still worth the trek, one he'll certainly be making again next time. For Time Video, this is Sonia Narang in Pushkar, India.